Catholic priest has been jailed for 21 years for sexually abusing young boys over four decades. James Robinson carried out the abuse while working at a number of churches across the West Midlands. He was exposed by a BBC programme and later extradited from the United States where he'd moved to. The judge said the role of the Roman Catholic Church in the case had been highly questionable. Mark Worthington reports. What's this about? Are you, you Mr. Robinson? What's this about? Well, I Filmed for a BBC documentary, this is the moment Father James Robinson came face to face with his past, confronted at his California home by one of his many victims. You abused this boy not. for many years. You won't, you won't even accept, sorry. accept it. Sorry. How can you now deny listen. what you did to me? I deny everything. Years later, he's now behind bars, his denials rejected by a Birmingham jury, leaving the Catholic Church with questions to answer. The Archdiocese of Birmingham sincerely regrets James Robinson's serious betrayal of the trust placed in him. It all began on this residential road in Walsall. As a young man, Robinson abused his first victims in the house he shared here with his mother. When he became a Catholic priest, the abuse continued in parishes across the West Midlands. One of his victims told the court in graphic detail how the abuse began. It started, he said, when, as an 11-year-old altar boy here in this church, Robinson led him into the presbytery and into his private quarters, where, for the first time, he said, he was sexually abused. For all of his victims, the memories are painfully fresh. It didn't happen right away. It took probably a, a few months, you know. Then we sort of got, he got closer and closer and closer, if you like, you know what I mean? Till he got, you know, too close, like, you know. By fleeing to America, said the judge, Robinson had tried to put himself beyond the reach of the law. But the law, he said, did not forget, and neither did his victims. Mark Worthington, BBC News, Birmingham.